Hi, it's Anthony from carplaylife.com and if you're looking to update your MMB Android box to the latest version, then you're in the right place. So keep watching as I'll be bringing this guide to step you through how to upgrade it to the latest version. So the MMB Android box is a great new dongle for CarPlay that replaces CarPlay with an Android operating system to allow you to use apps, games on your CarPlay display, such as YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, to even games like Candy Crush and many more. In this video, I'm gonna take you through each step you need to do to update this dongle to the latest software, to unlock new features, apply bug fixes, and generally improve the experience of the MMB Android box. So let's get started. So first you need to require a USB drive. I have this SanDisk 16 gig drive here that I use for a lot of my firmware updates. It's reliable and it has never failed to work for me. So check out the links below for some recommendations on some drives if you don't have one. You'll next need to go to your desktop computer or laptop and open up a browser window. You need to go to the software update page and download the files. So go to this link here and I've also put it in the description below. This is the MMB update page. This page will update with any new software updates for both its MMB Android box and also the MMB Dongle Plus we have reviewed also. So you want to select the latest version link alongside the dongle that we want to update and this will take us to a Dropbox page. You don't have to log in here. So at the top right, you'll see a download button this will download all the files you need shown here. Let that download to your chosen download location. Once it's finished downloading, go to the download folder and you'll see the zip file. We need to unzip this file. So most operating systems have an unzip function. So use that to extract the zip file into its own folder. Usually that means double clicking on the zip file and it will start this process. Once extracted, go to the new folder it has created and you'll see three files. Next, we plug in our USB drive, give it a moment for your system to recognize it that it's plugged in and then open it in its own window. Now we need to format it to FAT32 standard. You'll see that I'm using a Mac, but the process is just as simple on PC. For Mac OS, you need to open up disk utility program, then select the USB drive, then click the erase option at the top in the pop-up, select FAT32 under Format. Name isn't really that important, so then just press Erase to format the USB drive. On PC, you just need to go to File Explorer, locate the USB drive, right-click on it, and select the format from the menu. Select FAT32 Format, and then Erase the drive. When that's completed and you have an empty, clean USB drive, we need to load the files onto it. So go back into Finder on the Mac or File Explorer in Windows. Then with both USB drive and download folders open, we select the zip folder and the system version INO files and drag them both into the empty USB drive. Okay, that's it for the desktop side. So remove the USB drive safely from your desktop or laptop and the next step will be done in the car. So in the car, you need to have your USB drive with the files that was previously installed on it. And we have the dongle here ready to also be updated. First, we need to insert the dongle as normal into the CarPlay USB port of your vehicle and then power it up. This is really important that we do this before we insert the USB drive into it. Wait for it to completely boot up and have it sit on the main menu of the dongle. If you want to monitor before the update has happened, go into the dongle settings and take note of the version number that it currently has. And we can check it afterwards to see if it has changed and been updated. Once we're in the main menu, we now take our USB drive and insert it into the USB-A port of the dongle. Now we wait a few seconds for it to access the files of your USB drive. Here it helps to have the USB drive with an access LED light on it so you know things are underway. After a few seconds, you should get a pop-up message telling that an update has been found on your USB drive and to proceed. Next, you follow the prompts to apply the update to the dongle, making sure that your car ignition is on or at least powered throughout the whole process. Please do not pull out the dongle or switch off the power 
to the dongle whilst the update is underway. So what happens now is that the files will be copied over the, to the dongle and the dongle will verify the update and update the software on it. The dongle will then reboot and if you have done everything correctly, then the update will be applied and you'll be taken back to the main menu screen. From here, you can check to see if the update has been applied by looking at the settings area and looking for the version number and see if it has changed or it matches the update number or date of the file that you downloaded. And that's it, you're all done. I hope you found this video helpful. If it has, press that like button and let me know in the comments if it has worked for you and what the update has improved for you. If you've not bought a wireless dongle, you can check out my wireless dongle playlist for all the reviews on them. Hit that subscribe button to catch all my future content and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.